Here we're going to tie my favorite grass carp moss fly. First thing you're going to do is start off the TM code 2457. It's a heavy gauge hook. You're going to tie in some olive UTC thread. Now we're going to tie in some green ultra chenille in medium size. We're going to take that chenille and work it forward, wrap it around the shank of the hook until we get about halfway up the shank of the hook. We're going to capture that, lash it down, trim out the excess. Now the next thing to do is we're going to take some mini marabou. We're going to stroke back the feathers here so we get just the tip. We're going to tie this on the top of the fly here then pull the marabou back, bite down on it, and take your thread forward. Then you're going to take your marabou and you're going to spin it around the hook. In each spin you're going to stroke the feathers backwards, that way they lay back. This is probably the more time consuming process here. There we go. Once you get to the eye here, you're just going to pinch the feather down and capture the, the marabou. And you can trim out the excess portion of the stem and just continue to secure it here. Build up a small head. Then you're ready to whip finish. you're all set. And what's different about this fly is, you can see as I point the back, you see how you have that profile. And that keeps the marabou standing up in the water instead of laying all the way down. If it just lays flat, it looks like a very thin streamer and the grass carp don't really care for a very thin streamer. They want a nice chunk of moss. So this chenille back here keeps this mini marabou poofed out and if you slowly strip it, this will actually undulate in the water and uh, kind of stand back out just like a piece of moss would. And that's just a simple moss fly, very effective for grass carp and even common carp.